PE program stands for Career and Technology Education, so the business department, the technology department, all of the other um, culinary and cosmetology programs that we offer here at the high school. We've been running it for several years now, and the BE program as part of that incorporates some of our CTE students into a business course. Because I have students that in the beginning of the year weren't really sure where they wanted to go in their lives, weren't really sure what careers they wanted to go into, and since having been in cover cell in either our accounting department or our sales department, they've decided that they definitely want to pursue a career in that avenue. Students do better uh, in, in virtual enterprise, I think, than in other classes because it's they're really getting a chance to apply skills that they don't get to in other classes. And these are the skills that you know, are in the workplace. So it, they finally get to take those accounting skills and apply them or their marketing skills and actually apply them. As a CEO, I am the face of the company. Cosmetology is one of the employed CTE Academy courses. Students go to school for two years to get a thousand hours to be able to sit for the New York State practical written exams. Every year, the seniors, sometime in December or January, will have a um, salon clinic where people from the area and the school can come in and get professional salon services. Clients tell us that they get better care here than they do in a salon. We teach all areas, all eight areas of uh, automotive tech, and that, which would include uh, basic electrical, brakes, steering and suspension, driveline, and manual transmission. That'd be year one. Year two would be engine performance, engine repair, automatic transmissions, and heating and energy. I started teaching apprentices and realized that I liked uh, sharing my knowledge. If my primary breaks down, I can help myself. I don't have to pay, you know, to fix my car. It's a two-year program that they offer at the high school. The kids start in 11th grade, and then they, uh, in the beginning for carpentry, they uh, start with just rough carpentry, and then the second year, the students come in and do more finished carpentry, uh, sheetrock, uh, trim work. We also incorporate English and math into the program, so as the students are learning carpentry, they're also getting uh, credits in both English and math. We learn everything from foundation to roofing and everything in between. I'm in charge of the culinary arts program here at William Floyd, and basically the students are learning the basics of uh, the commercial industry for cooking and it takes in place of their freshman year at culinary school. Mr. Daly definitely makes us realize the reality of culinary and the do's and don'ts. It calms my nerves when I come here and I cook with my classmates. Medical assisting program is actually training students to become medical assistants for doctor's offices primarily, sometimes laboratories, once they graduate high school. The program itself is amazing. We feel like a family. Seeing the need for our students, um, trying to prepare students for a variety of careers, but it gives them a, a choice of a path that really kind of aligns better with their skills and their interests, which is, you know, what we hope every student would, would be able to do. There are so many different facets. You could be someone who is a chef, you could be someone who owns a series of restaurants. You could work for a food service corporation. Uh, there's so many opportunities. We want to make sure that the CT program is responsive not only to students' interests, but where the careers are going to be in the future because our responsibility is to prepare kids for their future, not for the past and not for the immediate uh, present but for their futures. My dream is to open up a small business and you know have it grow to a large franchise. Uh, in this economy, for a young person to leave high school with a career under their belt is, is just an amazing thing. I want to go to the Joe Blasco School for Prosthetics and Special Effects Makeup, which you have to be a licensed cosmetologist to attend, and then work on movie sets. Um, virtual Enterprise has helped me understand more the business side of cosmetology and what it would be like if I were to open my own salon one day because now I'll know all the aspects that I need to have. Cosmetology is going to help me to get my cosmetology license which I want to use for the rest of my life. This is a great head start for your future and whatever you want to be. In the future I want to get a job in this career. I figured it would be a good opportunity to explore 
some options I have coming out of high school, what to do with my life. You really can't go wrong with the things you'll learn in this class. If you don't love what you're applying to be in, such as culinary or cosmetology or so forth, then this isn't necessarily the program for you. If you take the class, be prepared to learn a lot of new things and be prepared to listen and just have a good time, pretty much. If you truly want to do it, then go for it. But if you're here to think it's an easy task, I wouldn't say that because it's going to take time and a lot of effort. You shouldn't be in this program if, if you don't love to do it. If you're going to do it, that to really commit to it, work hard. Absolutely work hard and believe in yourself because you can get there. Even if you're just considering it the slightest bit, I would definitely say do it. Is that if you think you want to do it, just do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Just do it.